Hey, it's Zach here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make bass drops in any version of Cubase. Okay, mm. let's get started. So go ahead and open up Cubase. I already have Cubase open, and I have a song here from my band that I want to add a bass drop to. So I'll go ahead and play that back for you. Okay, so I want to add a bass drop right about here, um, where the second tom hits. I think that'll be pretty cool. Okay, so it's actually quite simple. Um, all you have to do is add an audio track. I'll make it mono. Um, and I'll make this a little smaller. So we'll go into the um, track settings here, and we're going to add an effect under tools called the test generator. And now you can hear a really obnoxious tone. <laughs> Okay, so uh, we don't need this interface here, and what we're going to do is we are going to automate a uh, portion of the track here where the test generator is audible. So to do that, we go over here, and we hit the show hide automation, and we're going to change it from volume to mute. Now just double click right where you want the bass drop to start, okay, and then where you want it to end. Okay, so now what you're going to do is just simply unmute it. So now it's muted and now it's not muted. So if we play back the song, it wasn't quite a bass drop, but uh, we have the, 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 time, the time frame made out here. So now we can actually get into the uh, bass and drop part of this tutorial. So we're going to change from the mute automation to frequency automation. And this is where your kindergarten math will come into handy. Um, we're going to go ahead and go to Google Images and pull up a table of frequencies used in um, notes. So um, the reason we're doing this is because um, bass drops actually are notes. They're pure notes because they're sine waves. So um, if you make just any sort of bass drop, it could conflict with uh, a chord or the key of your song and make just a dissonant <laughs> sound. It doesn't sound good, right? So um, a lot of my song is in drop C. So the C2 here with a um, frequency of 65 hertz looks pretty friggin' good. So I think I'll go with that. So you can see your frequency here. All you have to do is double click where your bass drop starts, which is uh, right here. Yep. Okay, stop, 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 stop it. Okay, so double click here, and then we'll double click where we want it to uh, finish the drop. So. We're going to go ahead and drag this down to about 65. So if I play that back, you will hear the bass note. So yeah, it's pretty cool. We're getting there. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the second automation curve of the frequency and drop it down one whole octave to, um, I think it was 33 hertz, I believe. Let me check that again. Yeah, 33 hertz. So, and um, yeah, that's it. So I'm gonna go ahead and play it back. Okay, so that's it. That's, that's how you make a bass drop in Cubase. And I'm pretty sure any version of Cubase has the test generator um, plugin. So um, go ahead, have fun, make bass drops everywhere.